basically we started building a wizarding school, kind of a, <laughs> like a Hogwarts, if you will, except we summon our students in through the student summoner. We have to make wands. We have uh, one student because Brainless was a student and then um, got hired as staff. Sims Hogwarts, yep, exactly. And then uh, I will actually, I have mixed feelings. Um, one of the first games I played on stream was uh, Hogwarts Legacy. And I'm kind of tempted to go back to that at some point. And then we have Foxy Blue. Foxy Blue is a student, is a vivified student with a nature wand. That's right, we did that right um, a bit before we ended last Friday. Yeah, so Foxy's in here and Brainless. Twerk, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Um, oh, I should, I should change the category. Uh, that we're streaming it. There we go. Mind over magic. There we go. Done. Cool. The click. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's going on? We need we need some medical rest. So one of the things we were trying to do last time around was get some medical beds in, and so we did one here. Uh, we can build some more. Maybe. Maybe one is fine. Can we make more? Uh, no, because we don't have enough phoenix uh, phoenix flowers or ice petals. Okay, so maybe one is fine. And then... <laughs> With OG save and Jake and King, that click is called trouble. Hmm. I'm, I'm sure I don't know what you mean, Foxy. All right. So what we discovered last time around was that there's a whole other game if we go explore uh, things down here in the underschool, kind of a JRPG style battling thing going on. Uh, where is the fog? So the fog is out here. Uh, how much help, uh, tips help do I want? Um, you know, some advice, some suggestion, some direction wouldn't be bad. It'll keep us, uh, you know, moving forward. <laughs> it reminds you of Fallout Shelter. You know, I don't, did I ever play that? I don't remember. But yeah, the kind of the, I think I've at least seen some of that. And, and I think I know what you mean. It sounds like Brainless might have some advice. Maybe some <laughs> suggestions of things we should be doing or should not be doing. Um, but otherwise, our, our staff members here are going out and gathering stuff. Uh, it's pretty good. You enjoyed it at times? Fallout Shelter? Yeah. Uh, you were thinking maybe researching the blue tree and going for farming early might be good. Okay, yeah, there's, so there's a whole research thing. The blue tree... So we have kind of different trees of research. And we we did start, I think that's actually one of the first thing, was it one of the first things we did was blue? And then we redirected over to green. <laughs> um, and then we kind of get stuck where we need these different scrolls in order to advance. So we can go back to blue for farming, right? So we have Lights there, but domesticated ice flower, and alchemist station, and potions, and smoke reed, planter. Um, the issue is like if we want this stuff, we need to have four arcane scrolls, yeah. So how do we get those? Explore the underschool, defeat underlords. Okay, so we just need to go exploring uh, underground more, right, to get scrolls. And then we can do that. Hey, Ninja Juice, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, oh, I am unpaused. That's fine. Uh, just getting the lay of the land. We had a, a poll earlier where uh, we decided this was the game that was going to be playing today. Need to be AFK for a few minutes, we'll be back. Okay, Brainless, I'll be here. Um, yeah, so I think, 
how are our people doing here? Can we see? Right, so Archibald here is pretty hurt. Oh, okay. A place for medical rest for injured mages to recover HP. Rituals performed here can remove some negative statuses. Um, so we can cure things here with rituals, right? I think this is saying, like, we can't do full heal because we don't have a potion of rejuvenation. So the bed is set that all student and staff members can use it, so that's good. And rain is incoming. Uh, as far as you know, the biggest thing with, uh, how do I know it's chat so well? So um, where the camera is, I have OBS and I have embedded chat right here. So whenever I'm looking at chat, <laughs> uh, whenever I'm looking like at OBS or the camera or just kind of like this direction, I see chat right there. Plus it means when I'm reading chat, I'm looking at the camera basically, which I like. Um, yeah, so what was they saying? Something about rain, right? So the thing that we learned last time around was that um, if we don't have roofs over things, <laughs> some big twerk. <laughs> uh, emoji's not the right word. Why am I blanking on words? Emotes, yeah, anyway. What was it? Yeah, rain, rain, right? So we need roofs, basically, otherwise stuff gets wet. Go figure. But that, that's actually a game mechanic. So that's kind of why this is kind of weird, besides it being like a magic school. Um, and that's enough of a justification for having weird architecture. This is set up this way so that I could like um, get some rooms and then have a way to expand up and like build more stuff while not leaving any of the lower floors unroofed. <laughs> um, yeah, so our staff members are a little hurt from our last adventure down in the, uh, the under school, the undercroft. The fog is advancing, so that's the other big, at least right now, that seems to be the big threat in this game, is that over time, the fog advances to the point where it will destroy the school. Um, and what we need to do is we need to do a ritual that will repel the fog. Now, if we had more stuff, we could do a superior repel fog, but we could just do a normal one. And we can have um, all five of our staff members here. So that gives us 50 repel. Uh, so let's get that going. Yeah. We can also see Viscera was destroyed by water, so stuff does get damaged if we, like, leave it out. It does get damaged by the water if we've harvested it but not stored it. And we do have chests here to store stuff in. It looks like all of our chests are full. We should build some more. Uh, and a wild barbok appears in the chat. So let's, uh, let's build some more chests, I guess. Make sure we leave a room around our uh, our gruel pot for making food. And there we go. So we're making it, we're we're doing a ritual. We can maybe go faster. Two XP. There we go. I do want to say, because I don't think I said it yet, I appreciate you all being here. Magic and inspires you, yes it does. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd have fun regardless, but I think I have more fun with, you know, some people along for the ride and some, some chat going on. All right, so that should have pushed the fog back some amount. I don't actually know how far the map extends, 
because we can only like scroll to where the fog is. Like when the fog was right here, we couldn't scroll past that. Aww. Well, I appreciate you, Foxy. Looking forward to some uh, Baldur's Gate tomorrow. And your interview on Twerk Stream. All right, and so we have a learning stone here for our one student, Foxy Blue. <laughs> Don't be nervous. It's fine. Would you say Gandalf was a great wizard? Well, that's interesting. Um, you know, Gandalf has a as a an Astari and a Maiar. I mean, the Astari were referred to referred to as wizards. Uh, <laughs> But, I mean, Gandalf wasn't like he... Hmm. I don't know. I, 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 since effectively... <laughs> right. Since Gandalf is effectively like this angelic being in like mortal form, um, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider him a wizard. Although they're referred to as wizards, like the blue wizards. But it's a, you know, a very specific thing to the cosmology of... Uh, Lord of the Rings. He turned from gray to white. I feel like his white form was underutilized. Uh, I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's got to be subtle, right? That um, in the lore of the Lord of the Rings universe, right? Um, the the powers, uh, the um, Blanking on the word, but the the things that are the the level of being above Gandalf, right, are um, did the War of Wrath in um, the Silmarillion, right, and so they like trashed uh, Middle Earth trying to fight um, Sauron's boss Morgoth, and so they restrained themselves from then on out. So it's all got to be subtle stuff, right, and letting the uh, the beings that inhabit Middle Earth do the fighting. So no great magic from Gandalf, even as the white. Yeah, because they they weren't trying to, you know, have gloves on. They weren't not trying to hold themselves back. Whereas the the side of the um, Valar, they were <laughs> they were holding back. All right, so we should start some research. Seems like a waste if we don't. I don't know if that's actually true though. If that, if um, because like the the research happens when someone goes over here and uses the arcane secretary. So if they're not doing that, they can be doing other things. So I don't think it's like a waste of. It's like a trade off of time. Also, this this is an interesting track. All right, Foxy Blue completed le uh, full learning bronze trial. So the the students in this have trials and medallions that give them bonuses. Is is what I learned last time. Uh, and so Foxy Blue completed. Love of learning bronze medallion. Gains conviction while learning or teaching. Uh, completed it, cast while full at a learning stone 25 times in a basic or an intermediate classroom. Um, so the other thing that's interesting, this is kind of like a, um, what does this remind me of? It kind of, well, I mean, it reminds me of oxygen unoccluded a lot, I guess, really. But there's a, a room overlay, room type, there we go. And so you can see here we have, here's an austere be bedroom. Uh, it's a private room. It gives uh, plus two and a half conviction to sleepers. So conviction is like sanity in this or like morale. If uh, your people run out of conviction, they can have a break. And that sounds bad. Uh, so we have an intermediate classroom here because we have the, uh, the bookshelf and the uh, learning stone. 
We have some generic school rooms. We have bedrooms. Um, this is not yet like a, a hospital, but um, there are all sorts of kinds of rooms here. It's like rec rooms and medical rooms. So an infirmary is must have three or more medical beds and two or more incense burners and must be private, right? So this is not a private room because it has multiple entrances. I was hoping having the like the archway here would make this one room, uh, but that didn't work out. <laughs> and then we have a workshop here that gives 25% researcher crafting rate increase. And we have a dormitory. So this is where the students are sleeping. They get five conviction to student, uh, for student, students to sleep in this room. Hate luxury. Huh. Does the roof give light? Am I reading that right? That's interesting. Okay, anyway. Uh, we don't need to be paused, right? Uh, reminds me of the house from Lemony Snickets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, like a lot of games, so it's not a unique thing, but it seems like we can just tear down stuff and we'll get all the stuff we used. So we can like just tear everything down and rebuild something, you know. Uh, one of the constraints right now is that like this is the foundation, like from here to here. So that's as wide as we can go. And there is a, like a support mechanic here so like this is as far out as we can build from this wall and it's not um like we can't build out even further here like this is being supported by this so we're kind of limited on how wide we can go we could definitely do some other things here like maybe we could extend this wall up and then take this wall out, I think is maybe a thing we could do. I, I foresee several redesigns in our future is I guess where I'm going with that thought. <laughs> Um, how, okay, so we, we can still see that Archibald here um, has not quite completely recovered all their health, but they, Archibald is recovering health. Oh yeah, 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 there he is. He's in the bed. In pain, mana drained, but healing. Uh, the mana drain is because we have rooms that are not completely lit, and so they spawn these things, these uh, void caps, and it drains mana from people that walk by them. We'll probably see that. Oh, there we go. They harvested one. Cool. Skill level earned. Foxy Blue learned dark skill. Um, oh, and it's gone. <laughs> All right. So I think, yeah, now it's just Oliver that needs rest. <laughs> yeah, you're learning some dark magic. So here we go. Uh, Brainless here is lecturing Foxy Blue about how to uh, cast, and then Brainless decided, okay, class is over, I'm gonna take off and do something else. Um, do we have enough harvesting jobs? So we have these over here. We can also, let's see, oops. If I double click, hold on, let me pause. If I double click the dire rats, there we go, let me select all of them and we can hunt those. We do need um, parts from the rats. This instructor is known as Brainless. Brainless here is a, a wolfkin staff. They're carrying a dire rat, apparently. They've been on the staff for uh, a day and a half. Um, Oh, they must be casting something. What other things can we see inside of the uh, 
Uh, Kali says, all right, I'm gonna go make my rounds. Just wanted to stop in and say hello. Well, hey, thanks for coming by. Uh, it's cool to see you again. Um, see you around. Oh yeah, so Brainless has an Earth Wand. <laughs> has a couple of spells. Are these like spell slots? Can they learn more spells? I don't know. They have different capabilities of like magic, right? So there's fire magic, water, fog advancing, uh, dark magic is useful for things, nature magic, lightning magic, and air. Um, that's interesting. I guess nature kind of is earth in this. Yeah, see you around. <laughs> All right, so it looks like our guys are healed though. Uh, he's sleeping, that's what that bar is, but he's fully healed up now. Uh, let's go explore, how about that? Um, well, I guess if the fog is advancing, can we can we push the fog back? Nope, we're out of smoke sticks and oh, we did need some phoenix flower. Does this get more expensive over time? Or did I just not notice? Okay, well, let's go gather some materials. Uh, specifically, we need these smoke reeds. Um, and maybe some more over here. Harvest those. And then Phoenix's Kisses. And what was the other thing? Something about an ice flower? Not seeing it. Cut berry vines. Worm. Okay. <laughs> I have to say, I'm always quite pleased how the. Well, except maybe the dance one. But the other, the little chibi Sabin emotes uh dally 2 <laughs> no sleep no sleep till brooklyn yeah it's oh the the dance one yeah what is that what is that in reference to og no sleep till brooklyn Oh, Beastie Boys? <laughs> Dull Crystal. A mysterious crystal of condensed fog. Mine to obtain valuables inside. Interesting. Foggy Crystal. Oh, so there's a chance. There's a chance to get a wand? A rug? Okay. Interesting. Um, <laughs> a wild skunk tank appears in chat. So we need to find ice flowers. We had ice flowers on the uh, ice ice flowers on the map. Uh, I think we might have. Um, it might be in a situation where we need to wait for them to respawn. Hey, look, there's some more crystals. Let's mine those. That's interesting in the bushes. Did you see? It might be too late now, but there were eyes in the bushes. Glowing eyes looking out. Honey drop bush. Uh, okay. Let's 
to say. Okay, yeah, it's being put in storage. Cool. I'm concerned that I don't, I don't see any of the, um, the ice flower. Oh, there they are. They're, they're, they're subtle. Cool. So that, that's one right there, right? No, that's decorative. Or maybe I just can't click it because the grave is over it. Um, I mean, the, the art is not, you know, it's not, it's not a triple-A game, but it, it's got a nice, simple style to it, right? So the research for like ice flower plants here would be really good. Unfortunately, we don't have scrolls. I guess the thing that we really need to do right now is explore. Let's let's explore the fungal cavern. So we have four spots for our party to explore the next room in the underschool. Danger lurks around every corner, so prepare yourself for the fight ahead. Um, and so, Dark 3, Fire 3, Air 3. And then, we could bring a student. But we can just bring uh, our other instructor, our other staff member here. So that gives front row Fire and Dark, and back row Air and Earth. Um, I think this could make sense. Or does it make more sense to have like one offense and one defensive caster in each row? I don't know. Let's just go like this. We can we can swap them around. Earth is better on front. Okay. You're back. <laughs> so folks will come down and prepare to go in. <laughs> Alright, so this is what this looks like. For those that have not seen this before. Um, so we have kind of an, an initiative order here. So we start with uh, our Archibald uh, guy with Fire Mage and then uh, it's that Brainless, right? And then uh, Ragavast and then enemies and then uh, Oliver at the end. Alright, so Archibald here can cast Vengeance 1. Adds Retaliate 15 to allies in the target of row. When attacked, a mage with a Retaliate will damage the attacker. Okay, or we can just do Fireball. So these guys, 170, 170, 120. And we can see kind of the element they attack with. So it looks like water for those two, and then fire. Hold on. Oh, hey look. Grind. Attacks an enemy. Total uh, 25 damage. What's this say? Spray. Attacks an enemy. Inflicts one... What, is that? what did that say? Get back here. Inflicts fearful one when it damages the enemy. Lowered speed will be affected with terrified at three stacks. So if they hit the same uh, character three times, they'll be afflicted with terrified. Okay. So these we probably want to take out sooner. Maybe I'll just do fireball. All right, so fireball is going to do 30 damage for 20 mana cost, or we can spend more mana to make attacking uh, Ragavast uh, retaliate. I don't think that's worth it. We'll do vengeance. Uh, not vengeance. Sorry, fireball. On the front one. There we go. And then it's uh, Brainless's turn. 
so brainless could move. So what does this do? So if we click earth armor, oh, to the caster. Okay, so that's why we should have an earth mage in the front, right? Moving is a bonus action. You can use one bonus action before you cast a spell or fleet. Cool, so we'll swap. And then we'll do earth armor. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Uh, and that gives us uh, Ragavast. So um, Ragavast is our, our our dark wizard. So we get Shadow Cloak to ally position for two rounds, which is 25% dodge to mages in this combat slot, right? So, oh, interesting. To an allied position, and not to brag, I'm a very good character, as I am Earth Tank with speed, go early. <laughs> um, so if we did Shadow Cloak, like, on any either of the two characters in the front row, that's going to give both characters in the front row 25% dodge. Or we could do Tentacle Lash, which deals 40 damage when attacking from Shadow Cloak. I see. So we want to do Shadow Cloak first on ourselves. Nice. And then uh, Oliver can do Multi-Strike 2. Attacks the enemy three times. Or Shield of Wind. Adds Shield 1 to a targeted ally. Shield prevents all damage from the next time a mage is attacked in battle. So that seems good. So we'll uh, we'll put that on Archibald. Seems good. And then Archibald is gonna fireball the first guy. I think that makes sense. And then, all right. Do we wanna just keep casting this? This just lasts a turn, right? Or we could do smash. Attacks at enemy deals plus 20 damage when at full HP. When we're at full HP or when the targeted enemy is at full? Armors, oh, it stacks? Okay, let's do it. Uh, and then, oh, you, okay, cool. And then uh, Ragavast here. So we already applied the Shadow Cloak, right? So we should be able to do Tentacle Lash. 60 damage. And the uh, taunt forced them, at least the first two, forced them to attack Brainless. And then back to Oliver. So, um, I don't know, Multi-Strike's kind of a waste. Shield of Wind, can we just put that on Brainless too? So that one still is there. And we'll Fireball. Fireball this guy, I don't want to overkill. Then, how much does it stack? Smash, 20, huh. Let's do this. So it goes from 140 to 100. Okay. Uh, if they don't die, if they don't do enough damage, can keep going up and uh, won't be lost on turn. Huh. If they do enough damage, they can keep going up and won't be lost on turn. Huh. Uh, okay. So, is the Shadow Cloak still in effect? Yes. Maybe. On turn 10. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, critical. Smash him. Okay.
This uh, feels like it a lot, went a lot better than the first time around. Just do more fireball. I think we're, what, running low on mana, yeah? But that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna make it <laughs> easily. Victory! So we got two arcane scrolls. That was the main thing I was after, right? Was scrolls for research and viscera and hallelujah bloom, which we don't have use for yet. There we go. We, we can explore more fungal cavern as well. Um, so yeah. So under school chamber, gremlins and ooze do not spawn. Again.